Good day, folks. Today I'm going to tie up a little fab uh, with a UV collar on it. UV fab, I call it. A bit of a tricked out version of the uh, little different materials we use. We do get a great effect with this fly when you get the UV light on it. I'll get my other lights off. We can see the UV in there a little later. Um, the more of the materials we need to tie the fly. Uh, start. I'm going to be using a good hook on this one. It's going to be uh, one of my choices, an owner mosquito hook when I'm using blobs and boobies. Uh, that works good in different sizes. I'm going to be using some Semperfly uh, Florabrite 3 aught thread. Then we're going to be using some Semperfly Ice Straggle Chenille. This is going to be sunburnt orange and fluorescent orange. Very nice material. The collar, I'm going to be using some ice wing fiber. This is pearl UV uh, fiber. The foam underneath is going to be some Rainey's float foam, size large. And you'll need a razor blade and also some very fine bright silver wire or any kind of wire you like. And a UV light and also some solar res. So we'll get our hook in the vise here. Tie one of these up. As many times when you want to match the hatch to get kind of what's going on, and this is the kind of fly that does not apply to that situation. It's just unmatch the hatch, or just a fly that you're creating uh, creating a strike trigger, if you will, get the fish kind of curious and roll up on there. This is a very good producing fly. These boobies and blobs have been used over in England for a long time, and Found new favor over here in Canada just recently too, so a little variation of the fab. Okay, so I'll lay my thread base down. I'll grab a little bit of my uh, large round float foam there. Cut a piece off. So I've got my body, a little bit of hanging out the back so I get good flotation. Now what I want to do is bring in my uh, razor blade. I want to make sure that it points up. So, so there is a bit of a curve on these. So I'm going to cut this about halfway down, halfway through, not all the way through. So it folds over the hook a little bit. And I want to bring it right close to the front. And I'll tie that to the back. Our foam down makes a good even body. Pretty good there. You want to make sure this is faced up. If you got it facing the side, for example, it's going to dart off on you, kind of not track straight. But if you can try a few that way too, because just creating that curiosity of that extra sideways movement could be a trick. So I wouldn't be too worried about the direction it travels sometimes. But this one will, you can fish uh, very, very nice in shallow waters, marls and so forth. So you can put the, uh, I'm going to put the yellow in the back. This is the sunburst orange. And you can change the colors out. Put so many different color patterns. This is one of the better, my favorites. So you get this ice straggle chenille. Pull them fibers off. This looks really good in the water. Really like this. Just hand over hand that. I'm going to take that up about halfway. You can mix these up. If you want to go just maybe quarter at the back with the yellow, or you can change with the yellow in the front, or sunburst orange. Actually, it's called, but it looks like looks yellow on here. Okay. I'll bring in my orange. Good heavy. Strong uh, thread I'm using here from Semperfly. I'm to get my fiber sticking out here a little better. So really critical I get them folded back. Work them, get them back. You know, get in, see the nice body shape I'm getting there now. I like the look of this better than the booby actually. Cut that off. 
get some good turns. Nice, nice little boogie profile right there. If you want to pick it out with your needle, go ahead. I'll grab myself some extra fine wire. Tie it in. Make sure you fold it back so it doesn't pull out. I'm going to do a little uh, wire brush or dubbing brush with this. Get myself a really nice collar built. This is what makes this fly really work. Anytime I can add UV to a fly, I know I'm going to wear. So I'm going to come out here with this UV ice wing. You got to watch this gets a little unruly. Pull some of that off. Cut that in about half. Lay it over top of your thread. Bring your wire over top. I'll just start spinning that up. There we go. Get my cutting block out of the way there. Just wanting to wind down on itself a little bit. I grab a toothbrush. Just kind of tease it back a little bit. Tighten it up. There we go. Once I start feeling, I want to tighten in my fingers. I stop. Then I'll brush out my UV material here. Really nice. This doesn't have to go on very thick. It just I want these fibers enveloping my pattern. You stop where you think you got enough. A little extra you can use it on that so I take this apart, tie it off. And there's all this. I can use that again on another fly. Make sure my head's back here. Push it back. Anything out of the way. Clean this head up. My whip finish tool in here. Get that off right there. Bring in some solar res. Put that all up. We don't want that to come apart on us. This, this fly will probably put a lot of fish into your boat. I'll make sure it's strong. You can see the UV wanting to work here. That's where the fish see. I'm going to turn my other little lights off here and even see it more. See that? See how that goes? That's that's what the fish you're going to see down there in the water. So I'm going to bring myself a little bob bobbin needle in here, my bodkin. Pick anything out I can get loose. Might have the odd one trapped down there. Pull them out loose, and then you'll see when it wants to come back or get wet. So it's uh, a little bit of a variation I've come up with for the for the fab fab, fab foam ass blob, or I guess what it stands stands for. That's the short version of it there. But boy, it's been a very productive fly for the Stillwater guys. So there you go. Glad to have you join us here today. Hope you have some good fun with that on the water. We'll catch you real soon.